Hi, this is Michelle Roebuck and I want to thank you for watching this video. Today I'm doing a really quick video on how to clean your list in Aweber. Okay, so if you have an Aweber account and you're building your email list, I had to uh, restart building my email list a couple of months ago. So now I'm up to like around 773 subscribers. I have, uh, I think four, well actually it's just four different email lists. Uh, one of them is for something completely different. But I wanted to show how you clean your email list of people who are not opening up your emails. Now I do this every week, uh, once a week. What I do is I go in and I find people who have been on my list for at least 30 days, but they have not opened up an email for me in the past 30 days okay if they haven't opened up one single email in the past 30 days and they've been on my list for more than 30 days then I delete them off my list because I you know there's no sense of having to pay for those people being on your list if they're not opening up your emails and this is a way to keep your email list uh, smaller so you're not paying as much because you know after you get to a certain number of subscribers here in Aweber the price does go up um, so it also helps with your open rates on your emails and people clicking on your links inside your emails so I'm just going to show the process of how you do this you can do this uh, for people who've been on your list for 30 days or you can do it um, 60 days if they've been on your list 60 days or 90 days uh, some people do it you know three months or six months it all depends I there's some people who will clean their list of people who have been on their list for two weeks and haven't opened up an email after two weeks or so but I don't want to be that stringent so if you've been on my list for more than 30 days but you haven't opened up an email in the past 30 days I, I delete you off my list so what I do here I'm in one of my larger lists here go to subscribers hover over that click on manage subscribers and I'm going to have to block out these email addresses just to uh, protect privacy. But what I do is here, where it says select field, I go to date added. And date is before, when I click here, I go to the previous month, 30 days from today. So I go to July the 24th, that's 30 days uh, from today. And then I click on the green plus button to add another row here. Then I scroll down to no opens. Okay, no opens since. Click on the date part here. Again, go to the previous month, July 24th. So the date they were added before July 24th but they haven't opened an email since July 24th. I click on search. So I have 101 subscribers who have not uh, opened up a single email in the past 30 days. So all I do is go down here where it says name and the button in this uh, square next to it. I click on that. And then it asks me 100 subscribers on this page are selected. Select all 101 subscribers. Sometimes this works, sometimes this doesn't. So let me click on it. Okay, so it's supposed to be collect selecting all 101. But see, now um, the delete button went away. So <laughs> let me try that again. There we go. So I'll just wait. It's just one more subscriber. So again, I clicked on this to select all of them on this page then I click the delete button are you sure you want to delete 100, sub 100 subscribers delete okay and I just wait okay now there's just one person left so I'll click on that name and click delete delete and now I've gotten those people off my list. You can also look into your undeliverables to see if there's anybody there. You can check whether you want to delete them or not. Unsubscribes. If anybody else subscribed, you delete those people. Okay, let me try another list here. My second largest list is the business tips and strategies list. Uh, actually, let me go to the PLS list. Okay. Um, this list is a little newer, so I don't, I don't know if I have any that's been on 
uh, that long. I don't think so. Let me let me see here. Twenty fourth. Add another row. Go down. No opens since the twenty fourth. I don't think I've been using this list that long. Hold on. Yeah, there's nobody there. So uh, let me go to business tips and strategies. That's my second oldest list here. There's only forty five on this list because I'm I haven't really been building this one up. Okay previous month 24th no opens since the 24th of July quick search okay so I have nine people on this list uh, this first one that's me so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna delete myself I'll just uncheck my name there <laughs> so and now I'm going to delete these people okay it's just uh, eight people actually that I'm deleting because one of them is, is my email address. All right, so there we go. Check to see if there's any undeliverables, unsubscribes. So if you have unsubscribes, and I don't have any right now, uh, actually, I can check my other list here. I know there's a couple of unsubscribes on this one. Let me go to undeliverables first. Make sure there's none in there. Unsubscribes. Okay, so I have three unsubscribes here. The reason you want to get rid of the unsubscribes too and delete them in AWeber is because even if they're unsubscribed, they're still counted as subscribers when it comes to billing. So you, you don't want a whole bunch of unsubscribed people still on your... They're not on your list, but they're still in your account. So you don't want those unsubscribes to be counted towards your list of subscribers when it comes to billing purposes because AWeber will count them like they're active subscribers when they're not. So the best way to deal with that is just, you know, again, select them all and just delete them. Okay, delete them out of your account altogether and that way you're not paying for unsubscribes. And I don't know why AWeber does that, but it's a, it's a simple fix. Just go into your unsubscribes and select them all and delete them. Okay, so this was just a short video showing you how to clean your email list in AWeber so you're not overpaying on a bunch of, you know, people who are not opening your emails. Okay, get rid of those people so you can have a cleaner list of and a higher open rate of people who are actively opening your emails clicking your links inside the emails and everything so um, if you want any information on how to grow your own online business just click the very first link below this video in the description area to get more information again this is Michelle Roebuck I want to thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon